Ready to learn how to promote a book on social media? If you have written a book and you've self-published online, but you're struggling to make sales because you don't know how to do marketing using social media, grab your pen and paper because in this video, I'm gonna teach you the three steps that you can use for promoting your book using social media. Step number one for how to promote a book on social media, learn how to use your social media platform. I want you to go back in time with me to the year 2009. I had just written and self-published my very first book. It was called The Christ Effect Bible Study Guide. It was a companion to the film that I had produced when I was a student in college. Now, I wanted to sell my book using amazon.com and I thought all that I had to do was go on Facebook and put a little post up saying, hey, I'm officially an author. Go purchase my book by clicking here. Guess what? Zero sales. Not only zero sales, nobody even engaged with the post. And this was one of the very first posts that I'd ever put out that was promoting an actual book. And I'm like, why, why are people actually engaging with this? Why aren't my friends and family members commenting on this? I was confused. This was 2009. And I remember I called my little sister and I was like, hey, did you see this post? Cause she always engaged with all my stuff. She was like, what post? She literally went on her feed Facebook didn't even show her the post. And that's when I knew I cannot guess at using these social media platforms. You may be hearing this and you know what happened. Um, Facebook's algorithm, when, some, when you're directing somebody to come off of the Facebook app, they usually suppress the post. They don't show it to a lot of people because obviously they make more money by keeping people on the app longer. And so because I created a post where within the post, I put a link to amazon.com, Facebook suppressed the post. The algorithm didn't show it to anybody. And all of this was my fault because I didn't know what I was doing. And my love, if you are constantly trying to sell your book on social media, but nothing's working, no posts are taking off, people aren't engaging, people aren't purchasing, you need to learn the social media platform. So step number one, that has to be the bare minimum for how to promote a book on social media. You must learn the social media platform that you wanna promote on. Here's how you do it. The very first step in learning how to use your social media platform of choice is to obviously choose the platform you want to promote on. You should not be promoting on every single platform. I know what people have said in the past. Oh, you need to be on TikTok. Oh, you need to be on YouTube. Oh, you need to be on Instagram. Oh, you need to be on Facebook. That is no longer true because every single one of these social media platforms has like a billion users. So that means that all the platforms has your book readers. <laughs> you can just use one. So choose one social media platform that you want to promote your book on. I recommend that this be the social media platform that you already use on a day-to-day -day basis. That way you already have, you're ahead of the learning curve because you already know how the platform works because you are constantly using it. In my case, I'm always on TikTok. <laughs> Step number two, once you've identified which social media platform you actually want to promote on, you need to learn that specific platform's algorithm. You need to learn that specific platform's algorithm. The algorithm is basically a robot that every single one of these social media platforms has, and that robot chooses which person sees which post. That's what the algorithm does. It's literal job is to keep people on the app for as long as possible. So the algorithm learns the user's behaviors, learns the type of content they engage with most, and then searches everything uploaded for that type of content and puts it in front of that person. So in order for your social media strategy to be effective, you need to learn what the algorithm's looking for. That's the only way the algorithm's gonna know to take your content and put it in front of that right person. The algorithm wants your content. I know some of us, we look at social media and we're like, oh, this is so annoying, the algorithm's against me. It's actually not against you. The algorithm needs your content to keep people on the app. So the algorithm actually wants your content to win. The algorithm wants your content to be what keeps somebody on the app. So it's looking for you, but you gotta know how it's looking for you. That's the only way you're gonna create content that actually works for you. So how do you learn the algorithm? You just go to that social media platform and you watch their tutorials. <laughs> There's no secret here. I learned YouTube, I learned TikTok, I learned Instagram, I learned Facebook ads, I learned LinkedIn, I'm currently learning Spotify's podcast platform. I just watch the tutorials of the platform. That's all I do. <laughs> and once you watch those tutorials, that platform's gonna tell you what they're looking for in order to categorize content to put it in front of the user. 
you have to spend time learning this information. Now, some of us as authors, we don't want to do this, right? We don't want to focus on marketing. We don't want to focus on social media algorithms, especially because they change all the time. We just want to write books. But I'm telling you, sis, if you want more book sales, you have to incorporate learning social media algorithms into your daily practice as an author. I know, I know, I know, it's annoying but it's, gonna, it's what's gonna make you more money. And third, once you've learned the algorithm, right, you watch the tutorials of that social media platform, you understand what the algorithm is looking for in forms of content, you need to write your strategy down for creating content. Write that strategy down. The reason why I want you to write this down is two reasons. Number one, it is very difficult to remember everything that an algorithm is looking for for a piece of content. Very difficult. For example, here on YouTube, if I'm creating a video for YouTube, I have to do search engine optimization first. Then I have to figure out my title based on keyword search. Then I have to write my description based on keyword search. Then I have to name my file, name the actual YouTube thumbnail based on keyword search. Then I need to go in once I upload it and edit my subtitles based on keyword search. Every, I need to add my tags and keep, there's a lot of stuff I have to do in order to make content that the YouTube algorithm can push out to people. I need a checklist. <laughs> and when you add that to addition, to writing your books and running your business, it's hard to remember everything we have to do to create content that this algorithm wants. So write it down. Don't guess. Don't say, oh, I'm just gonna remember this over time. No, as you're learning what the algorithm wants, you're going through those tutorials, have a checklist for every single piece of content. This is how you know you learn the algorithm. And the second reason why I want you to do this is because the algorithm changes all the time. Now, we don't encounter this as much with Google-owned uh, Google products. What are they called? ABC now, something like that. Um, but if you have a meta platform that you're using, like Facebook, like Instagram, that algorithm be changing all the time. So you have to write down what you're doing because it's constantly changing. So this month right now, Instagram's pushing out B-roll reels that have trending audio. That can change in a second. It can change in a second, right? Last year they was pushing out lives. Then we had the IGTV error. Everything can change in a second. So that's why you wanna write it down because these algorithms constantly are changing. Step number two for how to promote a book on social media. Now that you've learned the social media platform, go ahead and build your sales funnel to sell your book. Build your sales funnel to sell your book. So before I did what I'm about to tell you, when I finally figured out the social media algorithm, um, I was using Periscope at the time and I was uploading these daily devotionals for women um, that were actually performing well and having people go to my Amazon page and purchase my book. But when I made a sale, I was only making about $2. That was it. <laughs> you don't want to do this. You don't want to spend all that time creating content that the algorithm wants just to make a couple of bucks per sale. You want to make enough profit per sale that you can build a sustainable, scalable business. And that's what a sales funnel allows you to do. A sales funnel is basically a series of web pages that you build that's designed to sell your book at a profit. If somebody goes to your Amazon page to purchase your book, that's all they can do. All they can do is purchase your book on Amazon. Amazon ain't gonna upsell them another one of your books. That's not how Amazon works, right? But if you send them to your sales funnel, then they can purchase your book. And then on the second page, they can purchase another book. Then on the third page, they can purchase the prayer journal companion or the audio book download or the course companion, whatever you want it to be. Build yourself a sales funnel so that when you do make a sale on social media, you are increasing the amount of profit that you are taking home after each sale. It's still the same amount of work you're doing to promote. You're just making more money on the back end. So here's how you create a sales funnel for your book. Number one, you're gonna create something called a lead magnet, a free digital gift that you give to somebody in exchange for their email address. Number two, you're gonna create what's called a tripwire page. This is your one page sales letter that sells your book to your audience. Now, I recommend that you have it be a bundle for your book, at least $97. That way, as you're creating the social media content, when you get sales, you're making at least $97. And then number three, you're gonna have something called the core product offer page. So that is the upsell. When somebody purchases your book, what else are you offering them right on the next page? This could be the course companion, the audiobook companion, the digital download version, the ebook. This could be a prayer journal, a daily devotional, coloring, whatever you want it to be. Just set up your sales funnel so that when you do this content for your marketing, your sales system is already ready, not only to make sales for you on autopilot, but also to make 
profit. And the third step for how to promote a book on social media, consistently create content for that platform that promotes your sales funnel. Consistently create content for that platform that promotes your sales funnel. So when you are growing your book business, you have the two components. You have the marketing that tells people how to buy your book and you have the sales funnel that sells people your book. The two have to work together. So when you're creating your content based off what the algorithm's looking for, do not just create content to create content. Every piece of content that you create needs to be optimized to send people into your sales funnel. So what does this look like? If I'm recording a YouTube video and I know that the algorithm is looking for keyword optimized content, so I have to find that keyword, do my keyword research, I need to title my video that keyword, put it in the first three um, lines of the description box, put it in my tags, I need to title the video the keyword, I need to title the YouTube card the keyword, I need to make sure I mention the keyword multiple times inside of the script and then I need to edit the subtitles. Once I upload the video, make sure it's optimized, I have to do all that stuff, right? So that tells the algorithm to push this video out to certain people. But then, I wanna make money with my books. So within the video, now that the algorithm knows who to put it in front of, within the video, I need to promote my sales funnel. For example, if you wanna watch my master class that teaches you how to start a faith-based business online as an author using sales funnels, click the link in the description box. It's free. Guess what I just did? I just promoted my lead magnet. My lead magnet, the free digital gift that you give away in exchange for somebody's email address, you're watching this video, you can say, oh yeah, I wanna learn how to do that. Go ahead into the description box, click it. When you sign up, guess what's gonna be available? My book, the Tripwire page. You see how this is working? You see how it all fits together? So you need to consistently create that content for the social media platform, for the algorithm, that is optimized to promote your sales funnel. The two need to work together. And this is what I teach you how to do in the God Will Grow Faith-Based Author School. In the brand new God Will Grow Faith-Based Author School, my goal is for you to have all the tutorials you need to not only know how to write a book that people wanna purchase, but also learn how to sell that book using sales funnels. Let me give you a little sneak peek at the brand new God Will Grow Faith-Based Author School. So in the Author Toolkit, everything is already recorded and already available for you. So as soon as you sign up, you can get started with your book. So first up is the Write Your Nonfiction Book Workshop that I was telling you about. All of these modules are already here. Finding your topic is nine minutes. Creating your book methodology is 21 minutes. Creating your book outline is 22 minutes. Writing your book manuscript is 28 minutes. Copy editing your book is 23 minutes. Designing your book interior, 29 minutes. Designing your book exterior, 15 minutes. And then publishing your book, 12 minutes. So this is already recorded. So as soon as you sign up, you can go through and go ahead and make sure you have a book that solves a specific problem. And then in the author toolkit, girl, the ebook tutorials, 81 minutes. <laughs> the workbook companion, let me show you some of this stuff. So this is the workbook that I created for the author brand class, right? It's so simple to do. So I show you how to do this step-by-step -step in the workbook class. The prayer journal, this one's 98 minutes. So let me show you the God Will Grow prayer journal. A lot of you guys have seen this on godwillgrow.com. I'm gonna show you how to create these prayer journals step-by-step. -step. You'll learn how to do it spiral or you can do it the ones that don't have the spiral as well. Um, so this is the one that I actually demonstrate for you inside the class. You can do a perfect bound as well. So you're gonna be able to get your prayer journals done. I'm also gonna teach you daily devotionals. If you remember, I have the, um, find your purpose daily devotional. So this tutorial is 120 minutes long. I literally record myself doing it. So you can follow along step by step. So you'll know how to do daily devotional step by step. I'm also going to teach you Bible study guides. If you remember, the very first book that I published was a Bible study guide. <laughs> so I'll show you how to do these as well. These make fantastic companions to your books. I'm also going to show you how to do a daily planner. If you Remember on godward.com, I have my daily planner, the legendary purpose planner. Um, one of the very first planners that I had was the 30 day success planner as well. If you remember in my original boss filmmaker check, so I have this planner. So you can have, you can do this many different ways. So I show you how to do a daily planner in that class. Um, I also, I'm going to show you how to do a digital planner as well. And you're going to learn how to do a journal. Um, and one of the really, really fun ones is the adult coloring books, the coloring books for adults. So this is the one that you're going to see me create and self-publish in this two-hour class. This is so pretty. And this one is all about mindfulness, right? How to worship the Lord while we are being present and helping ourselves to get rid of anxiety. 
you're going to learn how to make these step-by-step -step inside of the adult coloring book class. So all of that is already recorded, already available for you as soon as you sign up. So when you join the God Will Grow Faith-Based Author School, you'll get access to the author toolkit that includes the Write Your Nonfiction Book Workshop, a $497 value, how to write and self-publish an ebook, a $497 value, how to create a workbook companion, a $497 value, how to write and self-publish a prayer journal, a $497 value, how to write and self-publish a daily devotional, a $497 value, you're going to learn how to write and self-publish a Bible study guide, a $497 value, how to create and self-publish a coloring book, a $497 value, how to write and self-publish a daily planner, a $497 value, and how to create and self-publish a notebook journal, a $497 value. All these recordings are already there. They show you how to do it step-by-step -step so you can bundle your book. The whole goal is so that you can bundle your book, sis, so you can offer it through a sales funnel. So to get started, go to christianauthorschool.com christianauthorschool.com. Let me show you what that page looks like. You're going to, it'll take you to this application form. Go ahead and fill out this application form, hit submit. And that's how you'll be able to get access to the brand new God that would grow faith-based author school. So if you're ready to join the God that would grow faith-based author school, go to christianauthorschool.com and fill out the application form. If you're not quite ready yet to get started with your book business, Come to my upcoming free three-day Start Your Book Business Challenge, where I'm going to teach you the three steps for starting your own faith-based book business online, including finding your niche, creating your audience, and writing books and selling them to your audience using sales funnels. The challenge is free of charge, but I'm not going to be teaching these for too much longer, so make sure you click the link in the description box to get signed up. And don't forget to watch this video that's going to teach you all about how to scale your book business even faster. I can't wait to see you there.